How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlets, and today we're gonna skedaddle, skedoodle. My dick is a noodle. Actually, no, that was pretty, pretty fucking horrible. I'm sorry. Uh, no interest today, guys. I'm a little bit tired, so I'm gonna just relax for a minute. I actually got a new camera coming in about. Uh, let me think. So on Tuesday next week, uh, <laughs> I got a new camera coming in. So once I get that new camera, we're gonna have better intros and just more fun intros for you all to enjoy. But today, guys, we have a huge rumor. Honestly, this is a pretty big, like pretty long one. And I thought we'd like, you know, just go through it, discuss it, talk about it and all that sort of stuff. But before we do that, guys, if you want to check out the t-shirts that we are on, we, you know, we've got on sale right now, please do. They're still on sale. We're going to be taking them down in not too long. I think around um, uh, May, I think uh, they're going to be taken down. And I think we're going to, you know, not have those available anymore and might have new designs up. But uh, yeah, so the shirt designs will be keep going until, you know, um, May, April, give or take. So if you want to pick one up, uh, you know, check it out down below. It's going to be linked down below and all that sort of stuff. As well as the Patreon, if you guys want to go, you know, the extra mile and support the channel, it would be appreciated. Either way, drop, you know, just drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed the video. That would be really appreciated. And subscribe for future videos. Either way, let's get into the actual information, ladies and gentlemen. Which is coming to me by Shaley here. Shaley shared this with me on Twitter uh, once, once more and said, Ruffle, there's another rumor that I had found. This rumor sounds more legit than the other ones. Do you think you can cover this one too? Indeed I can, because this one's actually really interesting. So I thought we'd just start, you know, breaking it down straight away. Which, uh, you know... Let's start from the actual top of this one, which is that Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, leak from Virgi, Vir, Vir, Virgil, Virgil 10. Uh, that's the name, I guess. But uh, yeah, here's what this person says. Just some information about Pokemon Sword and Shield. Sword legendary type is Ice Ground, and it has a huge, huge attack stat. So, okay, that's the first thing we start off with. Now, Ice Ground does sound reasonable, but I do think that Steel Typing is going to be for both the uh, wolves, if there are two wolves. I think b both of them will have a Steel Typing to it. Why do I think that? Uh, because I think that based on the fact that this is a region that clearly, I mean, literally, the, the, the names of the games are called Sword and Shield. Uh, that implies using Steel or Metal or of some sort, you know what I mean, for those two, you know, uh, you know for, the, for the Sword, right? And for the def defensive tool, aka the shield, you need metal for that. So that's what I would assume right there. But um, ice ground, I wouldn't be, f I wouldn't be against that. I actually wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, and having a huge attack stat, fair point. Now the shield legendary type is steel fairy. Interesting, very interesting, huh? And has a huge defense stat. That is it. Okay, so really, steel fairy. That's kind of broken, isn't it? That's kind of strong. I don't know about this. This is a, this is a very strong one. I mean, just, just, just um, maybe it's just me, dude. That's a pretty strong Pokemon then. Okay, the third legendary with the typing Grass Dark, which would make sense again. Uh, Grass Dark, okay, so also two legendaries that look like uh, Ravens, uh, Flying Ghost, and Flying, uh, wait, psych Psycho? Psycho? Really? I think you meant Psychic, buddy. Um, so yeah, I guess this guy already messed up a part of his, uh, you know, post here, which is calling uh, the Psychic Pokemon Psychos. Okay, all right. Um... Now, Pokemon Star Revol uh, Final Evolution typings are Grass Normal. Really? Grass Normal? Fire Electric? And did he misspell Electric? Or am I, is my brain playing, you know, playing with me? And Water Dragon. Alright. I mean, I've seen this r rumor about a Water Dragon Sobble, you know, evolution uh, several times so far. Because a lot of people want that. I get why you want that. Because Water Dragon would be sick for the, uh, you know, Sobble, and <laughs> Dragon type is just cool, and I can only imagine what a design like that would look like, it'd just be insane, uh, but Grass Normal, really, for Grookey? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about y'all, but, I mean, to me, that doesn't sound too great, uh, and then Fire Electric, I'm totally on board for Fire Electric, that sounds great, um, but back to the legendaries, though, old still they look like, ra like Ravens, Flying and Ghost and Flying and Psychic, I mean, Ravens, Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, so all starters will have. Okay, wait, is the Raven thing a reference to like Game of Thrones? Like, cause they they use like, actually no, they, don't they? Um, what do they use again? Yeah, they use ravens, right? Yeah, they they send like send a raven, send a raven to Winterfell, right? They do that, don't they? So is that what we got right here? I don't know, dude. Um, either way, so next thing here, all starters will uh, will have special moves they learn when they evolve into their final evolutions. Okay. There'll be a new evolution ev evolution for Eevee. The type of the new evolution is Steel, which would make sense. Again, I've said this before. But the Steel type evolution in these games would be the best counterpart against the, um, the Fairy type evolution that you had in Kalos. And going with the assumption, right? Just going with the assumption, as said before, that we're going to be, you know, having a connection between Galar and Kalos as those two being the two regions that, you know, fought against each other back in, you know, the 3,000 years ago, uh, when AZ and whatnot, uh, you know, all that. If those are the two regions that clashed, right? If those are the two regions that clashed against each other, each other then logically, also, did I just do a Naruto-like 
You know, it's kind of bunch of jitsu, dude. Um, no, but like, if those are two that clash with each other, then logically speaking, if one of the regions has a fairy type evolution they used in battle, right, which is fairy type, then they counter from the other side, of the other region, which is the you know the more industrial one with swords and shields and whatnot, should be a steel type evolution that is a good counter, right? That makes sense to me. Now, next po next point here. I think a lot of forms do exist for Johto and Sinnoh evolution Pokemon. Okay, so the evolutions. Okay, so uh, Noctowl, all right. Wooper plus Evo, Hopip plus Evo, Sentret plus Evo, Mantine, Mischievous, uh, which I always thought, thought Mischievous was a uh, a Gen 4 Pokemon. Oh, no, it is a Gen Wait, no. Wait, wait. Is Mischievous a, a Gen 4 Pokemon or Gen... Actually, this is the thing, right? I always thought it was a Gen, Gen 4 Pokemon, but I think somebody told me that it's a, it was in Gen 2 as well. Um, she it's in Gen 2, so it is Gen 2. That's the thing, right? I always thought that's 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 my big issue is that I see the evolutions of like stuff like Mischievous and stuff. I see the evolutions from like Gen Four, and that makes me assume that like the pre-evolution is also from Gen Four when I was a kid. So I, I stayed with that in my head, and that's the thing, right? I always thought that. Probably a really weird side note. I know you're probably here, like Ruffle. Just read the rumor, you piece of boom. You know what I mean? Just read it, you boss. Okay, I can't swear. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like lower down my swearing because uh, some people haven't, you know. Um, a little bit of an issue with that, and some people watch this with their family and stuff like that, and I want to avoid, you know, having to make it so they can't watch these videos and enjoy them by having me, you know, sitting here acting like a, you know, uh, a pirate with a, a bad mouth. Either way, so let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Glorforms do exist for Johto and Cinder Pokemon, right? So, Mischievous plus Evo, which would make sense. Uh, for, uh, uh, Fortress, um, and Ursa Ring. Oh, dude, oh, 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 dude. If your boy Ursa Ring gets a, a new form, god damn it, dude, god damn it. Uh, Yanma, alright, uh, plus Evo, uh, <laughs> Sunflora, and Donphan. Alrighty, 104 new Pokemon and 17 Galar forms, which would, would be sick. Uh, we will see many Gen 5 Pokemon in the wild, but very little Gen 4 Pokemon. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, <laughs> uh, what could that imply? Because if we see a bunch of Gen 5 Pokemon, that wouldn't be implying that we're going to get Gen, Gen 5 remakes. Rather, seeing less Gen 4 Pokemon would imply it's a remake, because they don't want to maybe shove those too much in our face, because we're going to be revisiting those in 2020, as I said before. I don't know, man. I still think the 2020 a remake for sort like, sorry, for uh, Sinnoh, you know, a remake for Sinnoh in that time frame makes the most sense. That's just... That's just my opinion. That's just what I think. I don't know about y'all, but that's just what I think, okay? That's just my feeling. Um, either way, next thing here. So, uh, Mega Evolution is in the game, and there will be some new Megas, but not many. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of one of those rumors that I, I don't think is real, but I really, really like. Okay, I'm just being, I'm just trying to be optimistic a little bit more, because honestly, I feel like recently I've just kind of been like very much like a, a you know, um, a negative Nancy when it comes to rumors. Uh, but generally, I like this one, dude, because this would be great if this was true. If this was true, okay? Uh, so let's continue here. So Mega Evolutions, uh, some maybe no, new Megas, but not many. There's a new mechanic called Offense Mode and Defense Mode. That makes sense. Uh, you can act activate them on every Pokemon and without it wait without items. All right. So using the Offense Mode gives you an attack boost but lowers defense stats. Okay. Using Defense Mode gives you a defense boost but lowers the attack stats. Both the boost and the debuff only <laughs> last for this one round, uh, one turn. You use them. Mega Pokemon and Pokemon holding a Z Crystal are not able to use this mechanic. Okay. That actually sounds interesting. And it makes sense, right, if, if you have a Mega Evolution Pokemon, uh, having it a, the ability to, you know, turn into a Mega Evolution, and then have an Offense Mode stat, a, a stat boost, right, it would just be too powerful. Um, and of course, you know, with Z-Crystals, mixing those two together would be too powerful. So it makes sense here that, you know, it wouldn't be usable with those two. Uh, no new Z-Moves. Thank the Lord if that is true, if this rumor is true. Uh, thank uh, thank your boy uh, up in, uh, you know, uh, your boy Arceus up in heaven uh, for, you know, not deciding to, uh, <laughs> you know, slide us with Z-Moves again. Now, I, I know some people like Z-Moves. I know some people enjoy them. Personally, I do not like Z-Moves. I think they were one of the worst gimmicks they could have thought of. It was just kind of boring. Uh, if anything, it's like, you know... It didn't feel special to have a Pokemon with a specific Z-Move or whatever. And, you know, the ones with the unique Z-Moves were just, like, not unique and all that. So, seeing no new Z-Moves is a good a good thing in my brain. Um, Z-Moves are in the games, though. Fair enough. Uh, the rival is a smart and smart and friendly, but in... Wait, but the ongoing story, he starts to cooperate with the evil... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, this sounds interesting, actually, here. See, I want... I like this sort of stuff, where they can, you know, be a little bit, uh, you know, dubious. He starts to cooperate with the evil organization. He's in an, an a-hole... Uh, but he trusts the evil organization and thinks he's doing the right things. Later on, he becomes a big member of the organization. I don't want to spoil, spoil the story. It's one of the best we've had in Pokemon so far. I really wish so, dude. I really hope your rumor is real, because if your rumor is real, I'd be the happiest boy in the world. Uh, no Kalos postgame, but we'll meet some characters of the past. One person will take a major role in the postgame, Lysander. Lysander? <clears throat> 
and we'll visit an island in the post game, which is, will also make sense because there is an island in the image from the uh, the poster, sorry, or like the poster in uh, Let's Go Peach, Let's Go Eevee, and also Sun and Moon. There's a poster that shows you know the the, the Galar region and then an island next to it, a pretty big, small, like a smaller but still big island next to it, which of course would be Ireland, right? So I do think we're gonna visit that that island at the post game, most definitely. I'm 100% certain of that. Like right now, I'm telling you, we're definitely gonna be visiting that island in the post game of, of Sword and Shield. I I put my my brain cells on that one okay i think we're gonna i think we can pretty much certainly say that that's gonna happen um well that's what, at least what i'm saying i'm certain that it's gonna happen uh as for kyle's post game i agree that you know it's probably not gonna happen so i don't know i mean as much as i would love to go back to kalos and just kind of explore that um i don't think we're gonna do that i just don't don't think we're gonna do that in Sword and Shield, just because those these games are meant in a, you know, a different manner to be put out there. So, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to know your opinions, though. What do you guys think about this? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching. Um, of course, my name is Morofo Rowlet. If you guys did enjoy, catch you all the next time. I just repeated myself, didn't I? I just repeated myself. Yeah, dude, I'm just losing my, my sanity a little bit. Either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Morofo Rowlet. Have a great day. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.